Hello, I've probably picked the worst week to do reviews of hotels in Blackpool. We've had gale force winds, sleet, snow, and now it's raining. Anyhow, I'm at the last of the five hotels that I'm reviewing this week while I'm in Blackpool. It's the Parkfield Hotel, right behind me. I'm booked in for one night b and &B. I've already been given my key, I'm in room five. Let's check out the Parkfield Hotel. All checked in, that was dead simple, I'm in room five. Nice little touch, greeted by the both owners at the door and welcomed into the hotel. That was a nice little touch. So room five, I am checked into a single room B&B. &B. So let's have a look at the room. First impression of the room, looks nice and clean. Right behind the door is your chest of drawers. One thing I can say about this place is every piece of furniture matches as well. Chest of drawers, and there's the Bible. Your kettle, and a selection of teas and coffees, and some biscuits. Smallish TV, I'd say about 21 inch, maybe 19 inch, and your wardrobe. And there's a safe in the wardrobe as well. Hangers and more storage space below. Another chest of drawers next to the bed, and another chest of drawers, all matching this furniture, I've noticed. So, you can't complain about the storage space in here, there is absolutely loads of it. Let me give you a wider angle. As I said, I have booked and paid for a single room, I am at the back of the hotel, overlooking the back of another hotel. Uh, so let's check out the bed. Yes, they do have pillow protectors on. And it's a fitted sheet with a mattress protector as well. So there you go. Let's check out the bathroom. Oh, that's nice and bright. There you go, your sink with your smellies and a mirror. It is quite nice, this bathroom. The toilet. And a walk-in shower. And that is very clean. Let's try and get a longer shot of the bathroom. In these Blackpool videos, the five videos that I've done here in Blackpool, I've tried to show you a variety of uh, accommodation that's available in Blackpool, from your seafront hotels to the likes of this B&B, which is in a side street. One street away, I think, from the Pressure Beach. Ideally located if you want to be towards South Pier. So let's check out the rest of the hotel. As you can see by the name on the glass door, pool room. This would normally be the pool room, minus the pool table. Um, the table has actually been sent away to have the felt renewed. And you can see where the, 
the foot markings are in the carpet. So in season, the pool table will be back up in tows once it's been repaired. So quite a large room. Good morning from the Parkfield Hotel here in Blackpool. This is the last of the five hotel reviews that I'm going to be doing here in Blackpool. The Parkfield Hotel itself, it's, how can I describe it? It's like the original style B&B that you used to get when you used to come to Blackpool. The people that own it are Julie and Steve. They've been here 22 years. It's got that warm, homely feeling. It is their home as well as their business. So the hotel itself, as I said, I booked a single room. The single room is bright, it's clean, loads of storage space. The bathroom is beautiful, plenty of hot water, a good night's sleep again. Breakfast, I've just been down for breakfast. Just had a cooked breakfast. I was offered cereal, uh, fruit juices and stuff. I didn't fancy cereal. I'm getting to that end of the week again where this is the fifth hotel and eating five cooked breakfasts. It gets a bit heavy near the end of the week. So I didn't have the full availability. I missed off the fried bread, uh, tomatoes and stuff like that. I only had a partial cooked breakfast. They do have a large lounge with a massive TV if you do wish to watch television. But the rooms do have TVs in as well. One thing I must point out, even though this hotel is the old style B&B, it does have a double USB port on the wall here as well, uh, which I haven't found in some of the modern hotels. Free Wi-Fi. Car parking again. Outside the hotel, one side is double yellowed and the other side is free parking. The problem with that again is it's subject to availability. The hotel does have a bar. They normally have a pool table as well, but that's gone away for repair. Now, uh, price-wise, I booked this hotel through a booking agency and the cost for this room, a single room for one night, single occupancy, bed and breakfast, was charged £36. Now, talking to the owners, if you book direct through the website or by phone, I would have got the room for £30, so I would have saved £6. So a little bit of a tip. So if you do wish to move this hotel in future, uh, go direct to the hotel. Now, price-wise for a double room. Now, the way this hotel works is they charge per person. So basically, you would just double that. So it would be £30 for one person. For a double room, is £60. Now, it is a Friday as well. Prices change throughout the week, throughout the weekend, and throughout the year. There is a tariff page on the Parkfield Hotel website, so you can check out the tariffs for the whole year and the charges for the whole year. Julie did point out that they have seasonal charges, so they will change as you get into the summer and Christmas and things like that, and they have specials for long stay. The feeling I got when I arrived yesterday was that warm family feeling, greeted by Julie and Steve at the door. Uh, Julie went out of a way to explain everything about the hotel as regarding how to use the keys, a particular way to get into the front door, 
um, how to lock your bedroom. She actually come to the room and showed me the way you lock it and the way you open it with the key. Explained how the shower works, explained the Wi-Fi. Every single thing was explained to me from the moment I came into the front door to the moment I got to my room. Which normally when you go to hotels, you'll get given a room key and told where the lift is and you make your own way. Well, that was a nice feel. It's still like the old way of how to run a B&B. So that brings me to a close for this one. It's the last one from Blackpool for this week. I've enjoyed my stay. I've tried to give a variety of hotels, had a little bit of a hiccup with one of them, but that's the way it goes. So I'm on my way back home to Liverpool. I hope you've enjoyed these series of five hotels from Blackpool. I'm gonna love you, leave you. Don't forget, thumbs up for the video again, subscribe, and of course, hit that notification bell. As I say, I'm on my way back home. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.